Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa, also known as Green Eye Phoenix Goddess here on YouTube. I am a Pisces, but I love all signs. I love everybody. I deal with all signs, but I think you'll find guys that as a Pisces, I try to do lots of different things here on my channel. So please stay tuned to all of the amazing things coming. I do member perk memberships. Um, I have my website. I do personal readings. I do all kinds of amazing stuff. I also have subscription boxes that you can sign up for. So I have lots of fun different things that I do on my channel. So I really hope that you'll look around and that you'll join the family and that you'll subscribe. So don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. And to all my returning subscribers, you guys know how much I love and appreciate you so much. Guys, as you know, these readings are always very general. So anything that is pertaining to your particular energy, please, anything that is pertaining to my channel will always be linked down below. How to book personal readings with me, how to donate to my channel, how to follow me on Instagram and Facebook, any type of sales or deals or anything, everything will always be linked down below in regards to my channel. So with all that being said, guys, let's get into the video. Okay, hey Leos. Welcome to your love reading for May 2021. So, Leos, um, like I was telling the other signs, I've basically been kind of just going with the flow of like, of like what I feel because each sign is different, you know what I'm saying? So each month it's different. So sometimes I feel like pulling tarot, sometimes I'll pull straight oracle and then I'll clarify, sometimes I don't clarify. Like, I, you know, I literally just go with what I feel. Now, for you guys, yeah, for you guys, I'm actually going to do what I did for, I believe, Pisces. So I'm going to pull Oracle in regards to what we have going on for you guys. So for my Leos, my Leos who are watching now and all my Leos will be watching later. What do we have going on as far as love with my Leos? What do we got going on as far as love with my Leos? Oh, okay. that's together okay so it looks like we're gonna have two separate two separate stories here actually maybe not hold on maybe not maybe not maybe not maybe not maybe not it looks like it might be all general hold on okay so yeah this is okay i thought there was two stories here but there's not all right so let's get started leo so leo all right so there's somebody here that you guys are thinking about giving a second chance to. But here's the thing. This person, for some of you, is literally just somebody to teach you a spiritual lesson and like a soulmate type of lesson. And for others of you, if you're patient enough, you will see that it will unfold in divine timing. So you know what? I'm lying. There is two stories. I'm, not, I'm lying. I'm lying. There is two stories. Because there's two different energies. There's energy here of some of you Leos having this divine connection with somebody that will get the opportunity to get a second chance if you're patient enough right and know that it's unfolding in divine timing and then there's others of you who had this person that you dealt with that was just literally toxic right like it was just one of those things you're like you know what this cannot like this cannot continue here see but that's why that's why i knew in the beginning i was like there's two different things going on here that's why I said that in the beginning. That's why I like to just double check and make sure. Because sometimes I could just get a little too ahead of myself. And, you know, we got to just, like, calm down the energy. But that's your energy right now. That's what it is. So half of you are dealing with somebody that you know that is just not your person. But you've grown from it. It's teaching you something, right? You're, you're getting past the obstacles of it all. And then others of you, it probably is almost actually split even right, right down the middle. There's, like, 50-50 of you. This is, like, half and half here. And then half of you are going to give this other relationship a second chance because it's going to unfold in divine timing. And some of you are actually sitting there and then you were sitting there thinking to yourself like, wow, I was really thinking, should I give this another chance? Well, yes, you should. That's what they're saying for certain, you know, and those of you who know like how it resonates with you, those will you like, you'll know. You'll know if that's you. You'll know if you belong on this side and you'll know if you belong on this side. <laughs> okay, straight up. So let's see. Now that we know that, um, let me see. Do I want to clarify? I don't really need to clarify those right now. I really don't. Those are pretty self-explanatory. And now that we know half of the energy, half and half, now we know. Tell me more about these connections because there's obviously two. 
Tell me more about these connections for my Leo. Tell me more. Yeah, past life relationship. You've known each other before. Actually, I have to put this right in the middle because this applies to both sides. Some of you have the connection where it will work out. Like some of you have that beautiful soulmate connection and then half of you have this soulmate connection that's like, oh crap, they're just teaching me a lesson. trust yep that's for those of you who are getting the second chance here give me one more give me one more for the one that's the soulmate with the obstacles and the, the lessons give me one more for that lessons the soulmate connection oh okay well that one's there again that one's for that one as well this one is this that and that's right there for mutual energy okay so leos so they keep talking about giving this second connection a chance here right and the mutual energy is to keep it lighthearted, right because if you don't keep things lighthearted, it's not going to pan out you know what i mean like it's going to become too serious you're going to be like oh what's going on like what you know what i mean now it's a really big energy of getting to know each other. Those of you who are not going to get to know each other this time, it's going to flop all over again. You have to take the time to get to know each other. The more that you reveal more details about each other, the more that you kind of like open up more, allow yourselves to be more vulnerable, right? The more and more that that relationship will deepen, especially even further because you already have a background, right? You already have a deep connection and you already have a background, all right? So now we already know, flirting, getting to know each other better, like making sure you, you know, just trust, like just really, really, truly in trust, okay? Those of you that were with this person that were like, that you learned like a spiritual lesson from, the ones that you're like learning something from, but the obstacles, there was definitely children involved. I'm definitely picking up that some of this could have been a third party situation here. Now, they just want to remind you, don't think that you were unlovable because it was almost like if you felt you were unlovable and that's not the case here. It's just that unfortunately people have trauma that they have to deal with and they have things that they have to deal with in certain, you know, separate ways than you have, Leo. And it's just one of those things like you just, your friends can help you get through this, you know, like leaning on your friends, going out, like for you going out, being with your friends, not being alone, like that stuff over time will help you get over this particular lesson and you'll just take the lesson and you'll be able to move forward. And then you'll move into the energy of, you know, getting new love, you know? And for those of you who are, again, I said, that are giving them a second chance, you it has to be that energy of really truly leaving the past in the past, all right? Let's see what else we have. These are the bases, so I'm gonna keep them here. But they feel so off, like, centered. There we go. Sorry, guys, my OCD starts to kick in a little bit. At the end of this reading, what I'm gonna do is that for those of you Leos who are in separation from someone or no contact, like, literally, no contact, no seeing, no speaking, no texting, nothing, like, zero things going on, I will pull messages in regards to what your person might want to tell you. It could be things that they are scared to tell you, embarrassed to tell you, you know, ashamed to tell you, stuff like that. You know what I mean? Something that they would probably never tell you, like, unless you checked in on the energy, right? So at the end of the reading, I will do that. I've been doing that for each sign just to kind of see what they would tell you or whatever in case you guys are curious to know because I know that curiosity can kill us, right, sometimes. But... Let's see, what else do we have for my Leos in love? What else do we have for my Leos in love? Okay. 
Release your worries and receive universal abundance. Yep. Releasing it on both ends. Releasing the toxicity from this past person, right? And releasing everything from the past and moving forward truly from giving this one particular relationship that you guys are thinking about to give it a second chance. Okay? Let's get some other love messages for you guys. And again, just grabbing from what I feel. All right, Leo. So let's see. Tell me more about what's going on with my Leos for May in regards to love. What is going on with my Leos in May in regards to love? See, the past person keeps popping up. Abandoned, loner, closed off, right? Feelings fading, losing interest. Like, you guys are like, I'm done. Like, it's like, it's so pointless, right? To try to continue to keep something going where you feel like it, there's, no, there's no equal give and take at all. There's just not. There's no equal give and take at all. What else? Yeah, see? Cleaning up, letting go of what no longer is serving you, Leo. I'm going to put those up there. What else? What else for my Leos in love for May? What other messages do they need to know? That's the one that wanted to. Yep. And this past person won't stop thinking about you either. They will not be able to get you out of their mind. Because you're withdrawing. You know that it's that type of connection that you have to withdraw from. And those of you who um, have this person you're going to give the second chance to, they can't get you off their mind either. Yeah, look, second chances, trying again. Remember for that, that particular connection I kept telling you guys about? And look at superficial expressions, not all that it's cracked up to be, mental mind games, manipulation, the drama, the negativity, the pettiness in regards to that past one that was supposed to teach you those lessons. You see what I'm saying? You see how like it like so beautifully kind of like separates it for you guys? Like it's crazy. It's crazy. Let's see what else. Oh, let's get some other love for a goal. Sorry, guys. It like, did not want to come out. I'm like, um, hello. You know, call it improvisation, improvisation or whatever. Tell me more for my Leos in regards to these two different connections that we got going on here. These two different storylines. Tell me more for my Leos. What else? And I almost keep wanting to pull, like, about your past person. Like, I almost want to see, like, what the issue was, right? And you know what? I actually probably should put my What Needs to Heal deck out here for love readings. Because sometimes things need to heal in order for people to come together. So let me see. What else for my Leos? What else for my Leos? Thank you. Compromising. Yep, mutual understanding, flexibility, give and take brings rewards. This is for the one that you guys are giving a second chance to compromising right doing all of the plain major common sense characteristics that anybody would do and expect out of a partner type of thing compromising right what else anything else for my leos anything else for my leos before we move on to those that are in complete separation Forgive, tranquility, peaceful mind, and heart freedom from the past. What was I saying? What was I saying about releasing the past for the ones that are giving the connection another chance, right? The important message about leaving everything in the past and moving forward, right? All right, so I felt drawn to pull about your person. So let's see. Tell me a 
little something about the person that Leo was dealing with that is teaching them a lesson. The soulmate that is only meant to teach them a lesson here. The ones that the, this Leo let go. Tell me more about their person. Tell me more about their person. So let's see. Yeah, the relationship's over. See, no second chances. I kid you not. Um, narcissistic, not being very respecting of boundaries, right? Um, definitely trying to come back though, right? Definitely wanting to try to do some communication, trying to converse more, trying to convince you to give it a second chance, right? So be mindful of that, Leo. Be mindful. All right. So tell me more about this person that Leo is going to give a second chance to. Tell me just a little bit. Oh, 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 they flew. They flew. They flew. Sorry, guys. Um, having fun, right? Starting new. Basically, having girl and boy time. Being able to make sure you spend time with your friends as well as with each other. Okay? It's part of the whole process in regards to letting go of the past, leaving the past in the past, right? And stopping the pattern, see? Stopping the pattern, axing the pattern of abandonment, the silent treatment, stopping the pattern of like breaking up, the separation. Those of you that are gonna give this a second chance, that's gonna, the pattern's gonna break here because it's gonna feel all anew, all right? So just be mindful of that. Okay, so for those Leos who are in separation from their person, like no communication, no contact, nothing, what would this person say to my Leos right now? What would this person say to my Leos right now? Things that they couldn't say, things that hurts them to say, you know, all of that jazz. What would they say to my Leos right now? Oh, I really miss you is the one that flew out. What else would they say to my Leos? Sorry, guys, I'm trying to hold it like this so you guys could see the shuffle, but... What else would they say to my Leos? Nope. Wow, they have a lot of back and forth energy in regards to you, Leos. Like they keep like thinking lovey-dovey, but then they're like F them and F that, but then it's like, no, I miss them or whatever. It's like that. It's like that very back and forth energy, like that crying and then being angry. It's hilarious. Not hilarious. Like it's not funny, haha, -ha, because... It's just that you're thinking to yourself, well, hello, you know, like that's why we're in separation. So twin flame energy in regards to that person you're in no contact with, they didn't feel good enough for you. See, I didn't feel good enough for you. I'm working on myself. I really miss you and I'm afraid that you'll reject me. So be mindful of that because I remember I was saying about the ones that are trying to come back, the ones that are not good for you and then the ones that you are worthy and giving that second chance to all right leo so i hope that you guys found this helpful i hope it resonates i hope that it gave you a little bit of clarity some guidance um some solace right and um yeah let me know so don't forget to like comment share subscribe you guys know how much i love and appreciate you so so much and i will see you guys in the next one all right bye leos Mwah.